Good morning. Let's look again at 1 Peter 2, 4, and 5. Um, and I really want to focus on the description in verse 4. As you come to him, remember you're coming to him as a worshiping community, and you're being built up as a spiritual house, according to verse 5. As you come to him, a living stone. Let's look at how Jesus is described. A living stone, rejected by men, but in the sight of God, chosen and precious. Now, a couple of, of notes here. This word for precious, uh, used five times in the Greek New Testament, and each time it's used, it's of a person who's being uh, given honor or given value. God views the Son as valuable. He sets his affections on the Son, choosing him to be our Savior. And the text describes him as zonta. Uh, zoe is the Greek, one of the Greek words for living. Um, the idea of uh, life, zoe. Here, he is a, a, a living stone, a, a living Savior, a living one that uh, you'll see later will cause men to stumble. Uh, now, God designates him as living, chosen, and precious. How is it that man responds to him? Well, the text tells you that he is chosen by God, but he is rejected by men. The word for rejected here, uh, it, it comes from the Greek verb apodokimatso. Dokimas means to be uh, tested, uh, to be shown as reliable or worthy. Apo negates it. And so, in a sense, what it's saying is, Jesus didn't pass the test of men. He didn't pass the test of men. Now, think about that. He came as chosen, precious, living. But he didn't pass the test of men. Because, see, the, the, the collective nature of humanity doesn't resonate with the will and character and missional choice and sense of God. So this one sent by God was rejected, did not pass the test of men. I want to give you a real important application. I guess two things. Number one, our job is to accept him because he's living, he's precious, and he's the one chosen by God, the Father. But secondly, I do want to, by extension, just throw out an idea to you this morning, and that is, if you feel like you're not passing the test of men, um, if you're not accepted and embraced by the world, here in this letter, written to these exiles, this note about their Savior is intended also, wink, wink, to remind them that he was rejected, so they shouldn't feel too bad about their own rejection. You're not going to pass the test of men and be embraced by God. You choose one or the other, right? You choose one or the other. And this is a, a subtle reminder here in this text through the description of our Savior who was rejected and passed the test of men. So, as people reject you, rest in the good company you're in. May the Lord bless you today.